Good morning, everyone. I literally just woke up. Where's my hair? Oh my gosh, I have no hair. <laughs> Look at this little bud. <laughs> Anyways, I decided I'm going to do a morning routine today for 2022. I have not done an updated one since last year, way back. So I thought, like, look how little my bun is. It's like a little meatball and SpaghettiOs. So I feel like I have a little bit of an eventful morning, because some mornings I stay in all morning and just do stuff around the house, but I do have a couple errands I need to go do, which is more eventful. So I'm going to start doing my makeup and get ready for the day, but first, I cannot see a thing. I don't know if you guys know that, but I wear contacts. I've had glasses since like third or second grade. My vision is quite bad. I mean, I definitely could not drive. Like, that's how I see. Of the camera focus on my hand, so like that's how blurry I am. So if I was looking, if you were looking at me like this close, you'd be that blurry. So it's like you could still see, but not not too well. So my face is usually pretty clear for the most part, except I am breaking out right there. There's like some little bumps, but I'm going to wash my face. So I use this soap and then I use this to clean my face. It vibrates, so it's really good to like wake up your skin. So I scrub my face with this, with the vibrating on, and that's how I wash my face. And to be honest, I don't wash my face every morning. I don't. Uh, I always wash it at nighttime, though, when I take off my makeup. But some mornings I don't do it. Um, ever since my my skin got like more clear, I don't wash it as much. So I don't know if that's like a main cause too. I don't know. I know if you like overwash your face, it's bad, but. Next, I put in my contacts. Is it the right way? Yeah. Whoa, is there hair in there? <laughs> They're so hard to see. Voila. So if you guys are wondering if I ever wear glasses, and yes, I do wear glasses sometimes. I prefer to wear them at nighttime, but it like really annoys me to have something on my face. And like my skin's like quite oily, so then the glasses just like slide down my nose. <laughs> I just took Hershey outside and fed her breakfast. Now I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, outfit of the day. I am wearing these jeans from Abercrombie. I love their jeans. They are my absolute favorite. They are just comfy and like you can just like drop it. These ones I believe are a size 25 in the mom style. I have some that are in size 24 and I believe even 26. But my favorite style of jeans that they have are the Curve Love High Rise Skinny Jeans. Those are so comfy, I get a size 25 in those. I love them, love them. So my makeup is all done. If you guys want a makeup tutorial, you know I have one on my channel. But here's my look. I've been doing my makeup like every single day recently. There will be some days I take off, but when I do my makeup and get fully ready, I don't know, it makes me feel way more motivated to do like lots of things. I film many more videos just because I feel good and I look good. And when I feel and look good, it just makes me more motivated to do stuff. I don't know. So let's go make some breakfast and go say hi to Hershey. She was kind of a little stinker last night. She was. I tried to take her out. She wouldn't go. It was like 1 in the morning and I'm like, okay, she's going to have an accident in the crate. And as soon as I come upstairs, I check her on the camera and she goes as soon as I walk away. So then I went down there, cleaned it up, put her back in there, and then she went again at like 5 in the morning in the crate. So then before I started filming, I gave her a bath and I cleaned out the cage, but... Oh well, it's okay. It got me up and moving. Update, I changed my shirt because I always forget it's so cold out and even with the jacket on, it's gonna be too cold. Okay, so what should I make for breakfast? I'm going to have one of these two good yogurts. I love these, they're so good. So I like this Greek yogurt because it is good for you and it's two grams of sugar only and it's still super sweet, even though it only has two grams and no added sugar. And then I always put it in another bowl just because, I know you don't like need to, but I like to add granola and fruit and stuff and it won't fit in here. Look at Hershey's new bed. <laughs> I got this on Amazon. Is this not the cutest thing? Come here. Come see your waffle. And it came with a chicken leg toy. Like, so cute. It fits you perfect. It is a little bit small. Give me paw. There we go. Good girl. 
So here is my yogurt bowl, and I have some emails and stuff I need to do. So I'm going into my office. So I'm gonna do some emails and just check on my stuff. And then I also have some bills and checks I need to write and go pay. So I will be doing that soon after I'm on my computer and eat. Just drove a 30 minute car ride with my crispy daddy. Crispy daddy. <laughs> so I have to pay my bills. I waited until the last day to do it, so I had to drive here. Well, if you pay it online, you had to pay like an extra $100. I was like, okay, I'll just drive here and then like do something around this area, which I saw they had a cute coffee shop. I'm at the Dollar Tree right now because my bill doesn't fit in my envelopes I have, so I have to buy bigger envelopes. Even though I wish I could just like hand it to them, but it has to go in an envelope, so I don't know. So I'm here to buy an envelope, and then I'll probably look around a bit. But you guys, these things are so good. Just talking about them has my mouth watering. They're from Trader Joe's and they're chocolate peanut butter crispy peanuts. I bought two bags of these. I got one for me and I got one for my mom because I thought she would think it's like cute, like the little peanuts. And let me tell you, I almost ate the whole bag. They are so good. Let me show you the inside. They're so good. Mmm. There's like a slight bit of a crunch in there. I need to go back to Trader Joe's and buy like 20 of those. Literally. Got myself some envelopes and now I'm going to look to see if they have like the school's Bosco sticks. I keep seeing that online that the dollar store carries the same Bosco sticks that we would get in high school that were so good. So let's see if I can find them. Let's see. Chimichangas, burritos. Hot Pockets. I almost thought I didn't see them, but look, they're up there. Oh my gosh, mozzarella cheese sticks. Now how am I gonna reach that? Watch what I'm gonna have to do. I think I'm missing them. Maybe they're at like a different dollar store. Well, I'll keep I'll keep a lookout. Let me know if you've ever seen those at a store because I need them. It just took me so long to parallel park and everyone was like waiting for me. That was so, Ooh, I never learned how to parallel park. I don't know if they like stopped it around my age, but like when I went to take my driver test, I didn't have to parallel park, which is weird. Like that's a much needed thing. But anyways, I'm at this little coffee shop. I've never been here. Look how cute it is in here. It is so cute. It's like a little store too. I just ordered my drink, but I'm gonna look around. They have soap and ooh, little bracelets. Just got my coffee. I haven't tried it yet. That place was so cute inside. So cute. Mmm, yum. I haven't got myself an iced coffee, I feel like, in a while. But it is something I really like to do, especially if I'm doing, like, errands out and about. I just got back home, and I made myself some lunch. I am starving. And whenever I drink coffee and, like, don't eat a big meal, I, like, get really shaky, and I kind of feel sick. Does anyone, does that happen to anyone else? Because I know some people, like, my friends will just drink coffee as, like, a meal. And I'm like, how do you do that and not, like, die and jump off the walls? Like, I feel horrible if I just drink coffee without eating. I have to eat. I just made this Greek salad. This is my HelloFresh Greek salad. You guys know I love my HelloFresh. I'll show you guys which one that is. I keep all of my recipes in this drawer. So look how many I've done. This video isn't sponsored. What is that? That's weird. Greek salad with spiced pork patties, except I didn't make the pork patties because I don't, I don't really feel like it. So if you want to make this at home, it's just romaine lettuce, some red roasted pepper hummus, tomato and cucumber, feta, and then Greek vinaigrette dressing. This is the packet of dressing it came with, but I definitely would buy this. It was very good. And then the bag of feta. I'm just saving it because I didn't use all of the lettuce and salad stuff. Let's have some salad. Yum, feta is so good. Hummus and a salad is amazing. 
I've never even, oh, it's so cold. Oh, my teeth. I've never put hummus in a salad until that, like, HelloFresh, but really good. Mm. So I do have a nighttime routine up on my YouTube, but this is, like, what my mornings are like. If I'm not filming, like, a mukbang or, you know, a food video, I like to try and eat healthier. So... This is kind of typically what I eat to like balance it out. I did wake up today and I was like, I want to film another mukbang, but I just filmed one yesterday. So I try and space them out, you know. But I would totally do like healthy eating ones as well. I feel like a salad is so like pleasing to watch because it's like crunchy. But I mean, not as good as a burger. But maybe like a healthy wrap or something. Or just more home cooked. Because I consider home cooked meals healthy. I feel like a mukbang is kind of more for the entertainment. But also the food, you know. Because I love watching mukbangs as well. And I'll watch home cooked ones. I really like homemade pasta mukbangs. I love pasta. That's probably why. But yeah, I guess I haven't done one of those. Well, that's kind of been like my what I eat in a day, what I cook in a day videos. I feel like... I make pasta lots of the time and then I do like a little eating portion part. So I just went out and ran to Costco because I needed toilet paper really bad. So I picked up some toilet paper. I got some more hand towels. Look how cute these are. Um, I've been using these a lot lately even to bathe Hershey. I'll just use a little hand towel. And look at this one has dogs and like donuts and stuff on it. So I got those two and then of course I got myself some flowers, and then I got dark chocolate pretzels. I decided to get this little chicken bake. I've never had Costco's food, but it looked really good to me, so I got that, and toilet paper and a Squishmallow. <laughs> Literally, I saw someone walking around with a squish, like a giant Squishmallow, and I was like, where, where, where? And I searched the whole store, and then I found them, because I'm not too familiar with Costco, so like, I had to make laps around that giant place to find stuff. Like the toilet paper was so hard to find, but it was all the way in the back. So I got a giant Squishmallow. I've never had one this big. Gosh, I have an obsession with like stupid things. This is so good. Does Costco like have really good food or something? Mmm. So it's like chicken cheese ranch and bacon in here it's so good this bread tastes like um italian herbs and cheese like from subway but like so toasted and crispy it tastes like a giant hot pocket but like a good like a restaurant style one this is so good should i do a costco mukbang mm. it's so big I'm gonna drive home. Mm. Right now I'm doing some laundry. My laundry room is kind of a mess. Like I have my mini kitchen up here, which I need to do a YouTube video on that. I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. Do you guys wanna see that? Comment down below what you want me to make in the miniature kitchen. But I've been doing lots of laundry. Hershey peed on the, on the waffle bed. <laughs> Check out this cute bag I got made for Hershey's stuff on Etsy. I thought this was perfect for when, isn't that cute? <laughs> I thought this was perfect for when like I travel with her and I can pack her favorite toys and stuff in here. I like the small stuff because obviously the food bag wouldn't fit in there. Look how cute you are with your eggnog toy. Look at this. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> I've thrown it like 10 times this way. She comes back this way. <laughs> Hi. Let's see. Go get it. Come back. Oh, you got eggnog. Is that toy not so cute? Amazon. So I'm back from Costco. I didn't eat all this uh, chicken bake. I still have half left. But kind of like a late lunch. Because I usually don't eat dinner until later so that is perfect and I had like a small salad today like I feel like I didn't have that much food so also got a package I 
I didn't know what it was, but now I do. My Kins nail polish. Oh my goodness. I just ordered this literally like two days ago. Kins nail polish. And then I got a Kins sauce pillow. I need to stop. They're always like disappointing. My KFC chicken sandwich pillow that I ordered. If you guys knew about that, I ordered a giant chicken sandwich from KFC and a pillow. Kind of like my giant chicken nugget. And it looks like it's like so soft. So let's hope it's soft and not like the chicken nugget. But I thought this was going to be like a legit like sauce cup. It's just like a flat thing. Kind of cute. I just got done cleaning the kitchen. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. And I need to fill up my candy jars. So I got these at Costco. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And since these are like Valentine's Day themed, a little late to that. But I'm just, <laughs> just filling it up with the brown chocolate covered almonds. So it's like year round, you know? So I bought two of those. And this whole thing is like $13. I had to buy two because I was like, I don't know if it's gonna fill up the whole bear. Like the bear is so big. Let's see, where do we think these are gonna fill up to? I bet like the arm, about above the arm. one more of these jars I'm gonna keep one empty so I was like I don't know what else to fill it up with because it needs so much to fill it up if you guys have ideas because I like I don't want to fill them both up with candy it's more for decoration like I'm probably not gonna just go into this jar and eat chocolate covered almonds which hopefully this wasn't a bad candy choice like are these gonna spoil really quickly I don't know but I wanted it to like match my decorations so that's why I didn't want to do like colorful M&Ms or something like that. So it looks like coffee beans. That should totally go on my coffee bar. Okay, it does look cute at the coffee bar or hot cocoa bar, whatever you wanna call it. Got these new marshmallow cups, so it's like hot cocoa themed. They look like coffee beans. That's really cute. I kind of like it over here. Well, I just did some cleaning and now I'm gonna edit this video. It is almost four o'clock, so I consider that a good morning routine. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.